in Alice in the Jet Analysis Group, which is part of Physics Working Group 4. Um, so yeah, I, the first part of my PhD was more looking into more theoretical stuff, so about the jet quenching, how does the parton lose energy when it goes through the quark gluon plasma. And now I'm trying to connect it to an actual measurement now that uh, the OHC is actually running. Um, so I'm working on the jet analysis to see if we can see the jet quenching in, uh, in jets or correlate jets with other particles within the, the detector to see if we can see clear signs which will be more pronounced at high PT than in previous experiments like RIG where the cross section was much lower. So um, yeah, that for now is the main goal. But uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, it's a very nice group to work with. Um, yes, I, I think it's progressing very well. So uh, we actually see the jet, which is already very nice. And um, now we have to see if they are modified or not. So uh, we will compare. Um, we will do a comparison when, when they are not quenched, when there is not a quark gluon plasma, to see if we see something different, to see if the quark gluon plasma actually changes the, the shape of the jet. Uh, and um, yeah, I think that's going very well, and it's very interesting to see if it actually happens or not. Depending on the density of this plasma, the, the, the jet will be more modified or less modified. So if um, the plasma is denser, we get a more modified jet. And so the, how large the modification actually is, so how much the jet changes compared to when there is no quark gluon plasma, um, tells us something about the density or the energy density about the quark gluon plasma. Um, I first did my master thesis also within Alice, then I worked on, uh, on CHARM, so I worked on the, on the D0 mason, which was all on Monte Carlo, because by that time we didn't have data yet. And I liked that very much, although before starting that research, which lasted one year, I don't think I was really thinking about doing a PhD, but I liked it so much that, uh, yes, there was no other option at the end of the year. So uh, I was very happy to start my PhD then. It's, it's the unknown. And uh, you see a problem, you attack the problem, and then you hopefully solve the problem. Uh, well, you actually do not stop until you solve the problem. Maybe your first approach is not the right one, but then you try something else. And uh, Yes, and all those little puzzles, I hope in the end we will really learn something. Yeah, but sometimes it's, it's, it's hard to, uh, to see where everything is going into so many people working in this business and everybody is doing a small puzzle, but in the end it should somehow converge to one, one thing. And as a student, that sometimes it, it's hard to get an overview of the whole field. <laughs> yeah, it was a last minute decision. I, uh, when I was at high school, I actually was, was thinking about studying architecture. But then uh, one day before I was going to holidays, and I would come back one day before the introduction of the university would start, I decided to switch to physics because I wanted something more fundamental and less practical. And I never regretted that. I think it's going very well. Um, we have this graduate school, so sometimes we have also lecture weeks, uh, when you get a bit more overview over the whole field, because that's not only the f uh, particle physics where Alice is involved. And um, now I'm here for half a year at CERN to work here, which is very nice because you get closer to the experiment and to the people who work here and uh, you feel more connected. I would, I would actually advise everybody to spend a period uh, here at CERN. It's, uh, also very inspiring all those people and there are so many ideas from so many people. <laughs> um, well so I used to play field hockey a lot but right now I don't do that anymore and now I switch to cycling. Um, which in Holland is actually uh, very normal, we do it every day to go to work but then um, I also uh, do it in the weekends for a bit a longer time and uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy also cycling holidays a lot just going from one place to the other and exploring whatever you can find on your way. <laughs>